Okay, this is kind of an interesting instrument. This is uh, my uh, Busher three-quarter E-flat tuba. The serial number says it was made between 1922 and 1924. Um, so it's well over, it's over 90 years old. It's in pretty good shape for that. Um, you know, when I got it, it did not, it was not in as good a shape. I spent some money to to get at least uh, making it shape like a tuba again. But uh, the reason I decided to do it is because the valves worked fine, the slides pulled fine. It's just that the bell and the bottom bow were, were crunched pretty badly. Um, so it's an E-flat tuba. It's three quarters. I usually use it for my uh, for tuba Christmas because it's a good horn to get out. It, it needs to get out and be played more often. Um, the mouthpiece is uh, not original. Um, I had to put electrical tape on the end of the mouthpiece just so it would fit. This is a small shank mouthpiece um, because a normal tuba mouthpiece doesn't really fit there. And I can't find one. Uh, I've, I've gotten several from the early part of the 20th century that I thought might fit, uh, but they don't. <laughs> and so I ended up ordering this one. And uh, it's a Dennis Wick. Um, it's a Dennis Wick, uh, let me find it, five with a small shank on there. And that was too small. And uh, so I wrapped a little piece of a red electrical tape around it, and then when I give it a twist, it makes the seal, and uh, and then it can play. Um, the bell uh, has when it was crunched it ended up with some actual cracks and holes in it and so I didn't want to solder those closed or have those sealed up just yet um, and because you know that's a permanent thing and uh, but uh, when they reshaped the bell all those little cracks the edges started touching so every time I'd play the cracks would vibrate against each other and it created a buzz and so slowly I just started using just scotch tape and putting tape marks on these holes. See there's one right there. Using tape marks on them and uh, that stopped it from buzzing. Now that I've had this uh, tuba for almost 20 years now. Uh, I got it in the, I think I got it in 19, the spring of 97 at an estate sale. The, uh, I think that uh, I might actually spend a little bit more money on it sometime in the next year or so and see if I can just have a little patch soldered on some of these but it's um but it's all good it's a great sounding horn it has great pop to it, it it's uh the resonance is good and uh, the response is great and so here it is here's my tuba <laughs> That's my Busher three-quarter E-flat tuba.